Howdy folks, it's me, Comrade Internet, we're back with Game Dev Tycoon, uh, our latest game is selling fairly well, and, uh, yeah, we have a, uh, we have a lot of, uh, work ahead of us. What do we have access to as far as developing a new engine? Not enough to justify it yet. Uh, as such, uh, let's add some. Let's get some more things we can add to an engine. Uh, actually, no. Multi genre. That that will be invaluable. There's just not enough games about blimps dogfighting. Not, not dogfighting in the presence of blimps, but just nothing but blimps. So, rated, rated E for everyone. And uh, actually, no, we're not putting this on. This is going on the N64. give this one some semblance of story. Not that much, but like there'll be something there. for a level editor for this. Okay, okay, so not absolute, not an absolute dumpster fire. That's good. In the meantime, Thank you. 
Oh. Oh. Blimp Games are doing decently. Ah, oh, neat. Okay, I probably didn't need to have as much time spent on dialogue, but... Eh. Yes, solar panels are good. Oh, wow. I'm kind of surprised that one did as well as it did. games about, uh, yeah, not enough games about cooking roadkill, so, uh, that just needs to be fixed. No story to speak of. Everything else in here seems to be good. roadkill for you, and, uh, better AI for, like, uh, real, uh, for ultra-realistic deer caught in the headlights action. Yes, let's use all but a hundred thousand dollars of all of the company's wealth on a large booth at E3. <laughs> no.
increasing at the peak of the game's hype was helpful. Oh, I hope this does really fucking well. Games about uh, trying to make flat raccoons presentable as meal, but meals. Go team! Let's get a game report done for that. Oh shit, Roadkill Cookout is... like... Okay. Wow, surprising at how well it's been doing. Yeah, yeah, I guess people really like the, uh... Despite the polygons, people liked the, uh... Flattened, uh, assorted flattened critters. We done good. Holy shit, I think that's... I think that might actually be our best-selling game. Huh.
Yeah, this doesn't need a rich backstory. Just a... Uh, yeah, fuck, we don't even need open world. Drop world design down to actually nothing. Oh, wow. Basic physics are a must. Okay, when Xavier will be asking to help me, just to not waste time. Like, it's not even about money. It's just, like, oh, hey. Basically, getting paid to get research points. Okay, well, we haven't made a vampire game yet, mostly because we just research vampires, but uh, I think I've got an idea for uh, what we're going to call this. Blood Chugger the Blood Chugging.
course, you're going to need a level editor in this because you're going to want to be able to, like, trick out your vampire layer. Should we? This is very nice. Oh, good. That'll be useful. What the fuck? Uh. Oh, right, it's the early 2000s. Everyone... This is a vampire game, but everybody else is thinking, because it's, like, contemporary to the release of, like, Twilight, that... Ugh. Oh god, I remember working in a theater when those movies started to release. Some fucking chaos. Ugh. Eh, at least it's selling decently. Combinations, you say. Uh, the action adventure game about cooking. It 
it's one it'll be one part fighting game one part uh, well I don't know kind of well, adventure obviously but I don't even know what this would look like but it would involve like anthropomorphic food beating the hell out of each other and going on some sort of journey it's all just polygons you can cut yourself on. us to give away our current engine? No. We still have to... We're still using that. And this game does not need a level editor. Seems like a very, uh, like, a very aggressive meh. Thank you, all games. Hmm. Okay, food game is doing all right. Yeah, I think I'm. I think we're gonna leave it here for now. But next episode, we're we're, we're gonna make a new engine. Have a good one. See y'all later.